for me, my my joy isn't. I mean, I do enjoy listening. Mm -hmm. I I I yeah. do enjoy listening, but my joy is to mm -hmm. be able to sing and bring joy to others. Yeah. See, that's where that's where I get my happy place. That's mm -hmm. why I sing so much. That's why <laughs> I have gotten into acting and I dance yeah. and I I just I find that I love giving others something of mm -hmm. myself. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah. Um, just getting back to that that question again yeah. of uh, who, what's this this distinction between sacred oh, yeah. and secular? Right. That that if if art is what I was suggesting that it mm -hmm. is about an exploration of being human and what it doesn't mm -hmm. mean to be human, that um, that's a very sacred question. That is the oh, yeah. The, and so. Um, so just because a song is secular, if it is exploring what it means to be human, then, then there's a sacred quality to it. Oh, I just came up with a really interesting question. Following up on that. Um, okay, following up on that. Looking at some of the songs that you find in hymnals and, uh, and are considered church songs, some of their terminology Mm -hmm. is sort of counterculture to what's actually happening in today and sort of you know like uh, what was the song we did my eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the oh that one but also the, the like, battle like, hymn of the republic yes. battle hymn of the republic yes. and it's like i, can't, it was like, I, I was, know that song yeah. very well <laughs> yeah it everybody was, knows it. Like, glory yeah. glory yeah hallelujah. glory hallelujah and yeah. goes on and and but there are songs that were originally written uh centuries ago yeah that are considered perhaps is it churchified or very church adjacent <sighs> right that mm. don't yeah. necessarily so of, share the current our, our, our yeah, yes. progressive whatever yeah. um because our our vantage and our our perspective on the world and on humanity and and things have have changed right. and yeah. evolved in time and exactly. so yeah. our, our ideas about gender and sexuality and, and justice and all these things change and um, so what's the question then? So, <laughs> so when so, when sort of how right do, yeah yeah how yeah. does that how does that fit um, so one of the one of the failings of of the church and one of the um, I'm kind of walking up to the saying sins of the church okay. um, one of the human qualities of church is that it's made up of humans and mm -hmm. um, we like traditions and yes. we like things to be the way that they always have been and so we um, fossilize things right. and that's one of the Frankly, one of the reasons that that Christian church in America is uh, in decline yeah. is that um, it's been fossilized and it's not a living thing anymore. Right. Yeah. Because it's all about this is how we've always done things, even though that's not how we've always done things. <laughs> this is how we've always done things. So right. this is how it's going to have to be. We're going to have to. We're going <laughs> to sing these songs, and we're not going to change any of the words, and they have to. And it doesn't, so it no longer speaks to people living now and they don't see themselves in it and they don't right. see how they connect to it. Mm -hmm. And um, so the challenge is always to how, we don't want to throw all of tradition no. away. No. But, um, but at the same time, we need to live in today's, we need to live in 2018, okay. not in 1918, yeah. not in 1818. Um, and so we, so we find ways of refreshing ourselves and challenging ourselves and never setting ourselves in, in stone. It also has mm -hmm. to do with getting out of our comfort zone. Mm -hmm. That I, I think that church and theater and arts mm -hmm. should be about, both about finding comfort mm -hmm. in, in, in that space, but also finding holy discomfort, being, being unsettled by by yes. what we discover there. 
so that we're we say, well, maybe I'm not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> maybe my understanding of the world and of, of other people and of things is not perfect. And so I, I need to be disturbed a little and be dissettled. And, yeah. and so in church, we want to be delicate in how we do that. Right. Um, in the arts, we can be a little more in your face in your face <laughs> depending on That's how secure exact, your funding yeah. is <laughs> exactly <laughs> that was the word i was going to use in your face <laughs> yes yeah and, and yeah you can be sort of art does that occasionally it will throw itself in your face yeah. past your face into your brain and when you go home and you're still thinking about it and you're mad at yourself um although occasionally i still go home and i'm yeah. still thinking about <laughs> things i've i've heard in uh in church, and I'm not mad, but it sticks in my head. It sticks. Hopefully, you know, it's, yeah. it sticks in your head. Yeah. And, and um, if you see a play, yeah, on Friday night, and if on the next Wednesday, something about that play hasn't come to mind, or, or you're the same person on mm -hmm, Saturday mm -hmm. as you were Friday, yeah, then has that play really done its job? True. Yeah. Yeah. If you, yeah. you haven't moved, um, I mean, and and that's not to say. That light that there isn't a place for light entertainment and that light entertainment mm -hmm. or popcorn flicks. I happen to be a huge fan of Marvel <laughs> movies. Yeah, um, of that they don't have their that their place because they yeah. do. We we right. need time of of just to have joy. Mm -hmm. And if if we have those moments of true joy, um, I think that does stay with us, even if we wouldn't necessarily express that yeah. after the fact. Yeah, that makes. Yeah. Yeah. So church. Yes. <laughs> um, I like to think that, you know, one of the reasons for communal worship, why church is important, is that it resets us. It recenters us and, and says, okay, here's another week. And let me start the week by remembering what's important mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and by, by finding a shared connection with other people and, and reminding myself who I am. And in my, in our church, Mm -hmm. I uh, I hope that everybody is reminded on a weekly basis that who they are on a fundamental level is a beloved child of God. That beyond your you're an American or you're European or whatever country mm -hmm. you're from or whatever race you are or uh, whatever political party, because my goodness, Ooh, have, yes. how have we yes. defined ourselves by our political beliefs? and how fractured we are because of <laughs> yes. that as a society, that we remember that this is who we are on a fundamental basis and that I, my, secure, my security in knowing that I'm a beloved child of God is wound, bound up in that you're a beloved child of God mm -hmm. and that you're a beloved child of God, that I don't get to be one all by myself. Yeah. Mm. It's not and an so that's place. why it's important yeah. to me to come together with other people to be reminded of that. Mm -hmm. So, wow. oh, do you have a? No, I just okay. said wow. <laughs> that's so good. one of the things that uh, we find challenging for our choral society is uh, lack of name recognition. Mm. Uh, we've been around. We're thinking about a hundred years. We're not sure. Mm. Um, we, we can trace back seventy-five. Seventy-five. There's a possibility that but there was a nineteen thirteen concert wow. by the Bennington Community Choral Society, um, and we. I, I would say it'd be safe to say we used to have a problem attracting attracting people to join us. We did. We used to. We used to. Then we got the fabulous, wonderful Mr. Kalen. <laughs> to a Corral Society concert. I see no lack of <laughs> singers. There, up there. Yeah, no, no. no we have our 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 um, singing chorus is currently between sixty-five and seventy-five yeah. voices. Wow. That's our that's our chorus, um, yeah. and we have teamed up with Bennington Anything College. college. Um, we are on their curriculum as a credited course. Mm -hmm. Um, and we currently have 20... About 20 Bennington College students. Was it 20 wow. or 21? 20 or 21. So Bennington College students that we can add to our ranks for this nice. coming concert. Yeah. And, uh, and we also have a, we have a scholarship that we do. But um, I, 
my, my board knows this because I say this often. You know, uh, my hairdresser will be like, yeah, I watched your concert. I was surprised at how many people that I did hair were in your choir. And, and we're like, and I bang my head against the wall because name recognition. Um, yeah. and, and also, I, I, I believe I keep talking about be proud. Be proud, um, yes. Yeah. You're, you're new to your post. Uh, how's your name recognition as far as, maybe I should say, how is the, is the, how do you feel the church name's recognition, how's the recognition? You're trying to get me in trouble. <laughs> I am not trying to get you in trouble. But, I'm, uh, you know, we've, we've had other not, people on the show. Not, it's not as good as we think it is. Okay. Well, and that's what, see, see we, we went through the same thing. We did. Yeah. We did. Um, and we're still going through it. Yeah. Uh, because yeah. we get all these people that show up at concerts. Uh, we get all these people that sing with us, and you know, and then they're like, you know, I don't even know if their spouses know that they're in the choral society <laughs> sometimes. And you're like, what am I not doing right? How do yeah. I not, you know? And so what we've started doing is a be proud, be proud, yeah, be proud of what you do. Um, uh, and I, I will say, I am annoying about the fact that I'm a member of Second Conga. <laughs> I do mention that a lot, so I apologize to all my friends me. that no, I love. I, I, mean, <laughs> I, ha I have been invited on several occasions. And, but I'm always like, like I have to go. I'm going to <laughs> yeah. church, and I'm going to. <laughs> I, yeah. Which we all and we always. I trace my joining the church back to Matt Edwards, the fabulous Matt Edwards. Um, our music director. Our music director, who just church. literally said, "Come check out my choir." That's how my. Beliefs. Come check out our choir. We've that, got a pretty dang good choir. Yeah, we do. Well, dang good. Dang good. Yeah. There you go. I don't, we've, I mean, we've have you ever heard me say dang good? I know. Before. I'm not, but hey, I don't we say did that. dang. <laughs> um, dang but, good. Dang but you good. have a, what, we have a chancellor choir, you have a gospel choir, you have a handbell choir. We so, have a trio. Former, currently unnamed trio. <laughs> Janice in the trio. <laughs> and we did sort of a non churchy song last time that we sang. We did a church, church song. Meshed with a 1960s oh. rock band. We did um, yes. House of the Rising Sun oh. melody yeah. with Amazing Grace. Yeah. Oh, of course. Like you did Amazing Grace. Let's not church about it. <laughs> House of the Rising Sun. Yeah. <laughs> okay, works. But yeah. and, and that was very fun. Um, so we are constantly trying to get younger people. We love every single one of our members. Um, and we, we actually... One of my favorite members just moved away to be with her daughter. Uh, she adopted oh. me the first day I walked in. She was 90, she's 90 years old. And when I walked yeah. into the Choral Society, she put me next to her in the front row. And people always like, why do you sit in the front row? Elaine made me sit next to her and I stayed there ever <laughs> since. And she told us everything like that. And so we appreciate the fact that we have these um, lifelong members. But if we have no name recognition, how do we get new people? Mm. Do you ever find, I mean, it's like, I don't, what's the, where am I going with this question? I have this idea, but I don't know how to ask it. I was like, cause you can't, well, you don't have like a membership yeah. drive. Like no. we have, we have orientation to come join the Choral Society. Um, right. No, I mean, it's open enrollment all year round. All year round. You can just yeah, come. You can just so come. Just you can come, come and visit. Just come to 115 Hillside Street. Right and, down the street uh, from the Friendlies. Right down the street from the Friendlies. There is a, a, a kick in choir. And, uh, <laughs> 10 a.m. on Sunday morning. 10 a.m. on Sunday mornings. But um, maybe, I guess, instead of saying, do you have so, dreams for the church? So, um, you know, I, I always say, you know, I, I welcome anybody that Jesus brings to our church. Because, you know, we talk about mm -hmm. wanting to grow the church, and I say, you know, it's Jesus who grows the church. Right. You know, so we need to be ready to... Yeah. To welcome and be hospitable to whoever Jesus brings to us. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I want more people to come because I want people to know that that God loves them. Right. Yeah. Um, from my perspective, I think it. You know, one of the reasons that it's so important to me that that not just as a gay person, but as a pastor that our church be open and affirming to LGBTQ people is that I think everybody feels different sometimes. Oh, yeah. mm. And I think that everybody, that we are constantly receiving messages that we're not good enough or we're not smart enough or that we're, we don't look right or we, yeah. you know, we, that we have all of these <coughs> messages bombarding us 
mm -hmm. almost all the time, especially you know online mm -hmm. and on, on the media. Um, Madison Avenue selling us on this idea that, that you don't have enough. You mm -hmm. need to buy this, and then your life will be complete. Of course, that's not, a lie. Not yeah. true. Um, that there's a there is a place that says yes, you are enough. Mm. Just the way you are, you're good enough. Yeah. And that, that God loves you, and that there's all these people that will welcome you and accept you. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's why I want people to come to, to mm -hmm. our church. That's yeah. the why I want people to go to concerts and to go to to, yes. to plays at the yeah. Old Castle Theater yes. because this, these are spaces where we come together and mm -hmm. we, we, we yeah. can explore what it means to be human. Yeah. And oh, I like that. The, um, Exploring what it means to be human. Yeah. I, I think that's one of the things we I adore about um, the Coral Society is I have no idea what anybody does for a job there. Mm -hmm. I really don't. And I don't ask. I know that you're an alto, I know you're a tenor, I know you're a soprano. It doesn't matter what you do in your life. I love that you forgot about basses <laughs> there. I did. There's because like <laughs> that's the joke. <laughs> <laughs> but you know how many bases it takes to screw in a light bulb? Nobody cares. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I did. You know, I, I almost forgot about the Sopranos because really nothing I matters hope, beyond I hope the bass section gives you the Oh, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Bruce. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ron. Tim. Um, bases are important. Keep going, yeah. No, I know. And like, I'm not a bass. I'm not speaking as a bass. But, but it, bases are yeah, the no. foundation bases of your chord. Bases get really good for their notes. Um, and altos have the attitude. I'm not sure what sopranos do. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> we make it all do pretty. Do a song without melody, yeah, and you'll I know. find out. Yeah, we make it all pretty. We, song pretty. Um, <laughs> we float on top. <laughs> we do have a rather rather rowdy alto section, though, occasionally. We, we do. But a is for alto. A is for alto. Because <laughs> she's part of it. Yeah, I know. Well, actually, <laughs> well, let's just go back to what happened during the Verity. Can, can we just say, you know, all the presidents of all those, I know, all those cor I know. choral societies, what were we? We were all alto. All altos. Um, but... I hope that we, I think, I hope that we are as opening, open and as accepting yeah. as your church is to our group. That's our goal. That we... Oh, okay. That, I hope well, that I, our church is as open and accepting <laughs> as we say we are. You know, as we I, try to be. Because it's aspirational. Yeah. 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 You know, that it's, we're, we're not perfect. So it's always trying. Into, well, a human never is perfect. Yeah. yeah. Right. What are you saying? I'm just kidding. <laughs> you ain't perfect, honey. Never was, never will be. I don't aspire for it. But uh, um, do you have any guilty pleasure music that you listen to? That ah, uh, see, just a few. I don't know that it's a guilty pleasure, but I love the irony that my favorite band is like Bare Naked Ladies. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good band. I love it. Uh, um, <laughs> God, guilty pleasure. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Because I don't know that I think of... Music as a... Yeah. Um, because I rationalize everything? Because I don't feel guilty about loving okay. Marvel movies. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't feel guilty about liking Marvel movies either. I do have a Nickelback song on my iPod. Which one? I don't know. Was it photographs or something? <laughs> so, something remember? Was, yeah, so I think I, I, I yeah. might not, yeah. Um, yeah. But, I mean, everybody makes one of Nickelback, so I guess that's yeah. a little bit of a guilty pleasure. I'm going to say, shall we wrap it up? Yeah, we'll wrap it up. Uh, and so, as a new person to Bennington, um, and we have now found out that he's been to one of our concerts. Yay. I was in uh, one of your concerts the first weekend that I was in Bennington. Oh, I was I was yeah. in town uh, interviewing with the search committee, and I was in town being cloak and dagger, <laughs> and being yeah, and um, yeah, I they gave me a ticket to the oh, nice. the concert last December, and Yay. so yeah, that was one of my first Bennington <laughs> that, experiences. And, that was a good one. See, yeah. that's that was a, a good one yeah, to that was, experience. That was, a nice one. that was a really that nice. was a big one. Yeah, that was a nice. That was a nice one. I almost remember it. Um, <laughs> but that so. <laughs> it was Mozart, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was. It was Mozart and C. Mass minor. 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was actually it was a great one. It was our um first time doing a double choir. Yes. And uh that was amazing. <laughs> It was challenging. It was challenging. Oh, it, it was, was very a, challenging. A, so, a, so we know wow. you're busy. So we probably can never get you to join the Choral Society. Well, we won't say never, but yeah, um, currently you're busy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, and we have to. I don't even think we have mentioned that we've had a long history with Second Congregational Church. We, we have rehearsed, haven't. We've rehearsed actually. there. We've performed there. We've done our, our scholarships there. So we are huge fans of Second Congregational yeah. Church. So uh, longer than you have. Yeah. <laughs> Longer than me too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, when I um, when I first started, we did. That's where we rehearsed, and we would do one concert a year there. Okay. So I, I think I'll, I'll do a shameless plug for the church. Can I do that? Yeah. Oh, cool. Go for it. So if you out there <laughs> love good music um, and just want to walk into a place where you can bring your whole self, mm. and you haven't been into a church in a while. Then I don't think there would be anything wrong with you at all walking into Second Congregational Church at 10 a.m. You're gonna, people are gonna say hello. They're gonna give you coffee, and uh, you know you might just find a nice, lovely home. So uh, I want to thank Reverend D. Mark Blank for uh, joining us here and talking about music and spirituality and all that fun stuff. And uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for having me. Thank, thank you for you. using. Bring your whole self to church. <laughs> I wonder where she heard that. I have no idea. Never heard that one before. Uh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.